Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University. Catwoman, issue number 44. You're the villain. The Dark Gifts. Haven't actually seen any Dark Gifts. I don't know what's going on. Why, why did they even include this if, if they're not going to do the, the Dark... I, I don't know what's going on. This issue completely ignores that. Anyway, the hell do I know? <laughs> let's, let's get into who made this comic book and tell you why I still actually really liked this comic book. All right, let's get going. We got Ram V on story, Merica Andolfo on art, Arif Prianto on colors, Saida Temofante on letters, Joel Jones and Laura Allred doing the main cover, and Stanley Art Germ Lau doing a variant cover of Catwoman Get Out of Town. You know it's sexy. You know it's sexy. I almost got it. Almost. Um, <laughs> if all I did was go around buying art germ uh, covers, dude, I'd be broke. <laughs> but let me tell you something, man. This was still a really, really good comic, even though it, like I said, doesn't pay any attention to the fact that freaking whatever, man, stuff happened. We get a character in here. I believe they're saying that their name is Nobody. They look like Nobody. This looks like Nobody. Doesn't talk a whole lot like nobody, though. Remember the little girl from uh, Super Sons comics before, uh, and, and the old um, uh, uh, Superman comic books before um, um, Bendis took over? Yeah, when they were fun. And okay, I'm not going to get into that now. <laughs> Look, the idea is there was that, that girl, the young girl named Nobody, who would go around and kick everybody's booty. She was freaking awesome. Armor looked just like this. This is interesting. I don't remember this character. I, I literally do not remember this character uh, other than that little girl. So, um, nice. No, I'm cool with it. How much detail is paid to this character? Like, is this the first appearance of this character? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I looked online really quickly, briefly, and I didn't see anything about that. Of course, I only looked at the uh, database, the DC Comics database. I usually only go to the databases. And there was nothing up about this at the time. Anyway, this character is um, very cool. Uh, it may not have a backstory yet, that's okay. There's a, a personality quirk. Uh, this person has a, a handicap. I forget what it's called in here, but they will, like some kind of a cognitive interrupter that actually displaces words with each other. So he'll, instead of saying like, you know, uh, I'm going to kick your butt, and they'll say like, I'm going to kick your um building. <laughs> you know, so I'll say something like that. Uh, first time I ever heard of this was on Dr. House. Uh, maybe it's a real thing. I guess it is. Either way, it's a real thing here. That's cool. Little tiny quirks like that. I don't know or care what this person's powers are at this point, although the powers are kind of cool. Um, what I do know is that this character is already somebody that I'm kind of endeared to because I know something about this character. <laughs> that is cool. Ram V. Freaking excellent writing. Gentleman Ghost appears in this also. Gentleman Jim Craddock. We just mentioned Jim Craddock over in issue number 14 of Hawkman, which was pretty interesting, and that is a Hawkman villain. Um, I'm totally down with uh, Gentleman Jim Craddock being here. I mean, he is a, a Gotham character. You know, I, I don't want to say villain. He is a villain, but he's so much more, isn't he? Uh, and I think he was used very well in here. Uh, Gentleman Ghost is one of my favorite villains and uh, Villain Plus, <laughs> and uh, I, I do despise when he gets treated poorly. Um, this book was good. Let me talk about the art. Hot damn. Look, I know Joel Jones was writing and doing the art in this book, and a lot of people loved it. Personally, for me, while the art was, you know, good, solid, uh, pretty, uh, let's say pretty solid, the, the writing just definitely wasn't for me. And the uh, the art just wasn't good enough to make me keep on reading the book just for that. Uh, everybody's got their own preferences, whatever. Feel free to dislike. Uh, attack me, attack me. I love this review, but how dare you disrespect Joel Jones? I'm not disrespecting anybody. You know what I'm saying? I just, my opinion is I simply, for me, it just wasn't for me. This, however, yo, <laughs> Ram V is doing a really good job with this story. All right. Um, uh, America and Dolfo, I know she's not the same as, as uh, Joelle Jones, but she's got her own amazing art style. I mean, she draws some beautiful characters. I really like this comic. I'm going to see this Year of the Villain thing out to the end, whether it, you know, has anything to do with the Year of the Villain or not. 
And uh, I might just decide to stay with the Catwoman comic book if these people are going to stay on this comic book because I really like this. The covers, uh, the, excuse me, the colors in here, Prianto. This is a beautiful book. I really liked everything. I liked the flow, everything that happened in this book, man. This was awesome. So uh, there's that. Anyway, guys, here's to next week or next issue. <laughs> Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.